Welcome or welcome back. Today we're giving this IKEA Besta unit a college-bound makeover. Since our living room is getting a new DIY console, we decided on giving this one a fresh look. My daughter will be moving into her own apartment when she returns to college, so we're doing this project together for her new living space. The first step as always is to ensure your piece is properly cleaned before doing anything. Use a TSP solution or any household degreaser. Then sand all the surfaces you're going to paint with 220 grit sandpaper. This is especially important with laminated furniture. Scuff sanding helps the paint hold on to the surfaces. This right here is the secret sauce to refinishing IKEA furniture. Zinza Bin is a shellac based primer that does an excellent job preparing the surfaces for paint. It's a stain blocker and prevents any bleed through. Just be prepared to work outside or in a well ventilated area. It has a strong smell so don't forget to wear a mask. This unit had a hole that was used for speaker wires. I used some tape at the bottom to close the hole, filled it up with pieces of cardboard and then stuffed it with some Bondo. I'm using my favorite General Finishes milk paint, this time in the color Basil, using my brush and dry roll technique to achieve a smooth, flawless finish.
Now it's time to add the wallpaper to the door and draw front. This is a paintable wallpaper roll I got on Amazon. It's pre-pasted, so all you need is water. The one thing I would advise anyone wanting to do this is to be prepared for a mess. The glue is extremely thick after you wet the paper. We used a sponge to smooth it out and it kept flowing out of the sides. A gooey mess, but it held on perfectly. Before you cut the edges, make sure it is completely dry. Use an X-Acto knife and a cutting pad and carefully cut and straighten the edges.
That's it guys. I hope you enjoyed viewing. Doing this IKEA console makeover with my daughter was truly special. Let me know in the comments if you have or you're going to try this. I would love to hear. Until then, bye for now.